Katie Play Stuff. Hey, I'm Katie, and this is Katie Play Stuff, where I play stuff for you. So we're going to get on with the next part of the Crooked Man now. I know it's been a little bit, and I started a new game, but I've been excited about Outlast, and I'm going to keep going on with Outlast. Um, but I just wanted to say a quick thing before I get on with it. I got a new webcam. I said this in one of my last videos, but I just wanted to repeat myself and say it here on Crooked Man that I got a new webcam, so hopefully you can see me better. And I also got a new microphone, um, so hopefully you can hear me better too. <laughs> well, anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Let's get on with the next part of Crooked Man and see what happens. Okay, so last time we left off and we were pretty stumped. Um, we couldn't get up to the roof, I know that, and we were also looking for more pieces. So the last ones we need to get are uh, nurses know that and get close to the sky. We got everything else. Um, so nurses know that, I'm not exactly sure yet. Um, I'm still looking for a nurse's station. We also got a key to the medicine room last time and I couldn't find anything of use in here at all. Um, there's, there was a diary talking about hydrogen bromide and made a hole in the wall, so I'm guessing that we need the hydrogen bromide to get um, through the wires, I think, to get up to the roof, but, um, oh, wait a second, you have to go to the roof and then come back here, that makes sense, okay, 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 wait, hydrogen bromide, it can melt iron, huh, maybe it'd work on that door to the rooftop. Let's go find some Heidi Gin. I am so dumb. Okay, I hate games like that where you have to like, you have to see something first and then come back to the same thing you already saw. Did, did that just make sense? Okay, where's the hydrogen bromide? Oh, here we go. Hydrogen bromide, have to be careful with this. We found the Heidi. Got a bottle of HBR. All right. Okay. I bet I could get rid of this wire with hydrogen bromide. Do it. Maybe I can melt the wire with this. Fluffy, stand back. This could be dangerous. Okay. Hey, it's working. This is kind of fun. Reminds me of a science experiment. Whoosh! Melted the wire. The door can now be opened. Wait a second. I should have saved. What if the crooked man's up here? Yay, we're outside. Hey, Fluffy, don't run around. You'll fall. I can't see Mama from here. She must still be looking for that thing she lost. I hope she comes and finds me soon. She'll be here soon, I'm sure. You sure love your mama, huh, Fluffy? Yeah, mama's the best. Do you like your mama, Mr. David? Yeah, I gotta love my mama. I mean, my mother. Family's important. My mom is nice, but she's scary when she's mad. Is your mama nice? That's creepy. I'm home. Are you feeling better, Mom? Did you go to the hospital? Eee. Welcome home, Davy. It's just a cold. Don't blow it out of proportion. I feel a lot better after getting some rest. There's really no good side to being feeble. I'm sorry to always be causing you trouble. Don't worry about it. We're just a family of two. Of course we have to help each other. <laughs> You're so kind. Say, how's it going with Shirley? She hasn't come by here lately. We haven't met much because of work, though I'd like to talk with her more about the future and all that. She must be anxious. It's a big event in a woman's life. Make sure to support her, will you? Are you sure you're not in pain, Mom? You don't look very well. Get some sleep. I can make my own meals. I'm glad to have such a kind son. Thank you, Davy. And then she forgot him, pretty much. Yes, she's very kind. 
She's always cared about me. <laughs> you better get home soon then, Mr. David. Your mama must be really worried. I suppose you're right. Same reason why yours will show up soon. So just wait with me until then. Yeah. Um, if this kid's mom left him and hasn't come back, like, obviously she doesn't care. She's a horrible, horrible mom. An old newspaper. Psychiatrist at local hospital commits suicide. I'm so sorry, I just realized my mouse was on the screen. Sorry about that. Early this morning, a doctor employed at the general hospital was found dead by a nurse from the same hospital. He was hanged, so police are deeming it a suicide. Oh, so the guy who hung himself was a doctor. That's not right. That's it? Okay, wait. Gotta save. Is that all that's up here? Get close to the sky. Oh, there's something up there. There's a ladder. Seems you can climb up. Go up. Got an M piece. Go down. Do nothing. No, I'm just gonna stay up here. Okay, so we got the M piece. Now we gotta find the last one at the nurse's station. I know there's gotta be a nurse's station. Is that hell no what what is he doing what is he doing why are you go away why are you walking to him Eek. I is it is it eating the embryo model there mr. David oh my head uh, get up David get up N no no st stay away ah! fluffy David David get up fluffy uh gotta chase that monster come on Damn, my head. I'm bleeding. I'm so dizzy. Oh, he's walking really slow. I don't know where he went! I'm gonna check the roof, because that is the only new place that we've gone to, so I'm gonna just, while I'm here, check it really fast. Maybe they ran up to the roof. Nothing? Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Fluffy! Come on, David. Uh, no, I don't wanna. Stay away. Stay away! I I have to do something about that thing. What am I- what am I gonna do? I can't save. What am I- What do I do? Talk to him? I don't have anything. <laughs> What is happening? Wait a second. I don't have anything. What just happened? My game just like exited itself. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, hold on. What do we have? Get the fire extinguisher. I'll use this, ha! Huh? Spray that bitch! Or hit him. <gasps> Mr. David! Yeah, that's right, you stupid crooked face! Mr. David! Fluffy, you're not hurt? Nope, I'm fine! I'm sorry, Mr. David, it, it was all my fault that you, you got hurt, Mr. David! It's okay. Not your fault. Didn't do anything. 
Mr. David! Oh no. It's not your fault. I don't know who's talking. Don't be distraught. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had noticed it a little sooner. Who's talking? Who said that? David? David, are you dead? Mr. David! Oh, he's just fine. Did I pass out? Damn it. Head still hurts. Damn monster. Mr. David, are you really okay? Yeah, Fluffy, I'm fine. You're not hurt? Nope. I'll be fine, too. Sorry for worrying you. Looks like that monster went away. Fluffy? I... I want my mama. I don't like monsters. I don't like the dark. Fluffy. Should we go to the police? I'm sure your mother's there, so... I... I told Mama I'd wait. Mama says she was proud of me, so I'll... I'll wait for her. Mama wouldn't lie. She's going to come for me, so I have to wait here. He really should be with the police, but he just won't listen. If I try to force him, he'll just run. I'll give it a little more time, then I'll force him to go if I have to. Yeah, you keep saying that, David, and you haven't done it yet. I do wonder what his mom's doing, though. Leaving her son behind like this? I can't believe some people. And what's that monster up to? He was chasing me before, but now he's just after Fluffy? I don't think I can possibly know. I just need to protect him from being attacked. Maybe I should find a weapon somewhere. A weapon? Where are we gonna get a weapon? You're a good kid, Fluffy, putting up with all this. You're really great. I bet your mom is proud of you. Hold out a little more, okay? I'll stay with you. N no more monsters? I can't say, but I'll protect you if there are, so don't wander away from me, okay? Okay, I'll stay with you, mister. Alright. Well, I ain't got no weapon. Where do we go? Okay, well, save it. My first initial plan was to go find a nurse's station. So, let's start from room one and find one. Do nurses work here? How about back here? Any nurse stuff? Cardboard box that says lost and found. Okay. There's lots of garbage. Got an eyepiece. I feel like I couldn't look in there before. I think I've clicked on that before. Wait, do we have all the pieces now? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah! All right! Uh, where do we go now? Where's that director's room, right? Not here. Here it is. Let's see. I have the pieces. Y, A, L, F, I, and M. Can I make a word out of that? Choose which pieces. Um, yeah, you can. This is so easy. I was expecting like the hardest puzzle ever. I should be on like Wheel of Fortune. Got a safe key. Oh, this one. A lock safe. We got that key. Got a revolver and pistol. You know, of all the things, we need a weapon. We find one right now. Wait a second. I have to be shooting the crooked man now? Before I was like running away and hitting him and running away and hitting him. Now I gotta be like aiming at the guy? I should have saved the game. Mr. David! M m monster! M Mr. David, help! 
This monster's damn persistent. Fluffy, over here. Oh, God. No, I'm scared of monsters. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Fluffy, get over here. Don't let that monster come near you. Ah! Fluffy! Oh. Fluffy! I gotta go after Fluffy! Me and David are the same person. Save that shit! Okay, where did they go? I have no idea. Ha! I'm so good. I'm so good. Okay. I knew something was going down on this roof. I knew it, that's why I kept coming here. It's like the perfect space. No, 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 stay away. Mr. David, help. Over here, Fluffy. Don't let it get near. I'ma shoot you. Damn it, it really is after Fluffy. Why? Fluffy, listen, don't let it catch you. Run away, I'll take care of it. Oh, uh, okay. Oh gosh, I'ma take care of it, huh? Alright. How do I shoot? Ha -ha! Oh, this... Fluffy, stop running around. It's like it, he wants to get shot or something. Oh yeah. Woo, Fluffy, get out of the way. Why are you running over here? How did I do that? That was like the easiest thing ever. Fluffy is running around like a crazy little bitch. But that was the easiest thing ever. This is the end. Don't come near Fluffy again, monster. What, did I push him off? I, I don't know how many times I shot it, but not even it could. Fluffy. I'm sorry you had to go through that, but it's all okay now. Fluffy, what's wrong? Were you hurt? Oh, did I shoot him? Why? Huh? I... Oh. I... It's so scary, but I... I keep hanging in there, and I... I just want to go home. So why won't Mama come? Does Mama hate me? <laughs> Fluffy. This is so dramatic. Mama hates me, so she'll never come back for me. I'm just an unwanted kid. Fluffy, that's not true. It's not. It... That's not... You. You. Huh? I'm going to Mr. Policeman. Huh? Well, okay, I'll go with you. I'm fine! I can go there myself! Um, you're like five. Fluffy, you shouldn't be alone late at night. I'm a tough kid. Obviously not. You were just running around like an animal. I can make it on my own. Even if Mama isn't there, I won't cry. Wah. Oh, that was David. Wah. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, he's getting a headache. My, my head feels like it's gonna explode. F Fluffy? David. He, he left on his own? No, Fluffy. Your mother didn't hate you. It was you who lost faith in her. What have I been doing here? Wandering these ruins, looking for a man I don't know. I should go home. There's no point to this. Nothing, nothing will change. For real, go home, David. Ooh, look at that face. Uh, 
Are we literally just going home? Is this the end of the game? We're just leaving? What the? It sounded like a woman's voice. Heck no! We're finally about to leave? Could it be Fluffy's mother? So she did come for him. That's not good. Er, that's good. I must have passed Fluffy by. The voice came from the clinic side. I'll go check it out. Is that the right side? No. Where is this woman? I can still hear the crying. She must be crying so freaking loud. Found it after 30 minutes. Where am I? Who, who's that over there? Hey, who are you? Mom? Davy, why do you abandon me? Th that's not. Mom, how can you be here? I hate hospitals. You're my family, yet you abandon me. No! You were sick, Mom. So. So you left me. My own family couldn't stand me anymore. No! You're wrong! <gasps> David! Who are you? My mom couldn't possibly be here. Why are you pretending to be her? What if it's your mom? It hurts, Davy. Just like it did then. Then? He choked her before? Are you going and trying to kill me again? What? David? It hurts so much, Davy. <laughs> David chokes old ladies? God, that was loud. Who are you? Why are you in my house? What did you do with my husband? Answer me! Mom, please stop. You've kept saying things like that. Dad just went out, okay? Did you forget? Shut up, intruder. I don't know anyone like you. I'll call the police on you. Stop it. Don't tell me you're already going senile. Please take a rest for today. I'm tired from work. Just tell me if I'm a bother. Shut up! Keep your mouth shut! Do you think I know you? Get out of here! Stop! What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please, just tell me if I did something wrong. Are you teasing me? Because it's not funny. Please, Mom. Quiet! I am not your mother. I don't know you. Get out! Enough. Dude. M murderer! Somebody! M murderer! David? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop! Let go! You trying to kill her? David! It appears to be a brain tumor. It's putting much pressure on her brain. Sudden changes in behavior, violent action, and memory loss can be signs of brain illness. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. It was the doctor that said that. In some cases, counseling to resolve friction in a family can uncover an illness. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. 
if we had noticed a little sooner. Back to the topic of your mother. She appears to be very weak. We'll have to postpone the operation for now. We've hospitalized her for the time being, and her condition will influence our decision. Hopefully it won't be long. Please, come by to see her often. Even if she doesn't seem to know you, she is family. Uh, you almost killed her. No. We're not family anymore. Don't. Don't say we are. That's harsh. If I hadn't stopped just like that, I would have... I would have never been forgiven for it. There really was hatred in me. And it's true, I've abandoned her in the hospital. She was my only family. My precious family who cared for me after my father left. And yet I... My wishes never come true. My dreams, love, and even family all go awry. I can't have anything that's not crooked. What have I been searching for? I don't have to anymore. It's obvious now. There was only one way from the very beginning. Huh. Wow, that was a crazy freaking part that I just did. We killed the crooked man, possibly, not sure, uh, shot his ass up on the block, and uh, now we find out that David choked his mom, and possibly could be the reason why she- oh no, that's not the reason why she, like, can't remember him, but anyway, she couldn't remember him, and then he choked her out, and now he thinks his life's all crooked. Well, he freaking made it crooked. He's nuts. Um, this game is so intense right now. <laughs> I don't know how much longer of the game I have, um, but apparently there's another part after this, so I guess we'll see what happens next. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!